What's up guys, NBA talk with another video. It's pity banking on the last video just posted on um, Kevin Durant, Vols, Kevin Durant. Yeah, so I have a lot to get off my chest, yo. Um, this is focusing on him leaving Golden State Warriors. Well, leaving the Oklahoma City Thunder to go to the Golden State Warriors. Basically that. How... Everybody has just pretty much crucified him to the ground. Um, I get it. It is not the most popular move to do. To go to a championship team, already established championship team, a team that you could have beaten, but you lose because you choked. Russell Westbrook turned the ball over so many times. Everybody else just can't do anything about it. You lose the series when you could have won it. You go to the team that beat you. That is frowned upon. And people call it a bitch move. People cru crucify him for that. So I'm just... People are still crucifying him for that. Uh, like I said, Stephen A. Smith won't shut up about it. So, I'm on the internet on YouTube, and then I see a video from Colin Cowherd. If you know this guy, I think people pretty much know this guy, LeBron James lover. If you guys know about that, then you should know, you know who I'm talking about, the old guy. Um, loves talking about LeBron James. Um, a video posted on his channel. I'll, I'll link it down below. I want to see you guys how you guys think about this situation. Um, he bring his title says, "We crush players for not winning titles, yet when they pursue titles, we crush them again." And in this video, um, he talks about Kevin Durant um, throughout his entire career, where he was pretty much exposed to disloyalty. Um, this loyalty, loyalty, basically the key word in this video on how the NBA works and how it really has affected this entire NBA, not just Kevin Durant, every player in the world, every player in the, in the league, basically on this situation. Loyalty used to matter in the nineties. Uh, in the 2000s, early 2000s, but for at, le at least almost a last decade, um, loyalty has been the farthest thing from the NBA. You do not get rewarded for loyalty. You do not get rewarded for loyalty, man. And honestly, I'm starting to see that point, um. Um, I get. I know people will definitely still focus on him going to the Golden State Warriors of all teams. People will understand him leaving. That that's up for debate. But right now, I want to focus on loyalty uh, because I. You, if you notice that a lot of players for the last couple of years have been have been leaving their teams to go somewhere else to look for a championship. Like, not too long ago, LaMarcus Aldridge, I think it was um, in 2015 um, offseason, he was in Portland. He even said it. He wants to leave. He wants to go, go for a championship. He left a good team in the Portland Trailblazers. He left Damian Lillard high and dry. He left the whole team high and dry. Actually, everybody left. Um... They left for a better pursuit. LaMarcus Aldridge went to the San Antonio Spurs for a championship. He wanted a championship. And a lot of people gave him flack for that. Um, of course, probably the guy who got victimized for it, Lamar, uh, LeBron James, went from Cleveland to, Le uh, to Miami Heat, taking my talents and all that. Uh, he did that, and he got... People, this is where it all really started for LeBron James, where everybody has hated him ever since. He has been the biggest villain, 
probably in NBA history, more than any Detroit Piston bad boys ever. Like, he is the most hated person because, of course, in this internet era, your hatred of this person goes tenfold. Tenfold, because you're just blasting about the mouth. You're following trends. Hatred is increased tenfold. So, LeBron James, like, he, he's the real guy that really started this um, debate. This loyalty. What happened with LaMarcus Ulrich? He went to the conference finals this year. He went to the semifinals uh, last year. What about the people who have been loyalty? Who, who have been loyal? Carmelo Anthony, my New York Knicks, look what they're doing to this guy. They're destroying his name, maybe on his part, uh, getting that contract and all that. But they offered him that contract. Of course, he could still deny it, but who denies big money like, like that? It's either you get them or not, because it's going to be a one-time deal. You're not going to get it back. Um... He's been slandered by his own organization. Like, they're trying to tear him apart so he could just, they could trade him for so less. They were willing to trade him for less than he is worth. Another person, Dwayne Wade, not too long ago, last year's conf, um, off season, summer. They were going for Kevin Durant. I think he was definitely willing to sacrifice some money to get Kevin Durant. They didn't get Kevin Durant. They still had time to sign back Dwayne Wade, give him the money that he's owed, where he has taken paycheck, uh, pay cut after pay cut. They won't give him the money because they turned the whole situation on itself and made Dwayne Wade like feel lesser. Like we kind of don't really owe you that much, so he booked it to Chicago because he was unappreciated. So much stuff. And let's not forget um, a couple people from the past. Like Kevin Garnett. He left the Timberwolves to go to Boston. No one's knocking that. Karl Malone went to the LA Lakers to get a championship. After they won a couple times um, in the West. Like three times. So he went there. Couldn't get it done. Gary Payton went there too. To LA, LA Lakers, they, they try to get it done. They couldn't get it done. Ray Allen left the Boston Celtics. Of course, they were still beefy at the time. There was still tension. They were not really together. The big three, Paul Pierce, uh, Kevin Garnett, but he still left. And people saw it as a, a way of disrespect, disloyalty. He won a championship that year. He won a championship, and he was a big reason for it, too. Kevin Durant most likely might get a championship this year. Loyalty is not rewarded in NBA. We don't even support really that much on loyalty. Russell Westbrook is staying in Oklahoma City Thunder, and he has no help at all. At all. Damian Litter, it's going to take a while before him being a, a real contender. And he might not even win a championship. But he has to remain loyal to the team. So everybody has to end up being a Charles Barkley. What could have been a guy who could have gotten a championship if um, Michael Jordan. Well, even so, Charles Barkley went to the Houston Rockets. He joined a, a championship team. It's been there. It's, disloyalty has been there. And they have been rewarded. Loyalty has never been rewarded. It's never been pushed to that side. It's like people complain and bitch about people leaving. You have to give them an incentive to stay. You have to give them benefits of staying, man. Look at Demarcus Ulrich just got traded in the de uh, trade deadline. He said he wanted to stay. He wanted to sign for two hundred mil. They traded his ass. They went behind his back and traded him. They traded the guy after he publicly said that he was going to stay.
He wanted to stay. He loved Sacramento. They traded him to the Pelicans. Where is the loyalty? Like, so come on, fans, though. I'm, I'm just asking that. I know what he did going to Golden State Warriors this week, but I'm talking about loyalty in general. Like, what up? What up with this loyalty, man? It's like, it's like even the fans—they're not even loyal too. Like, we don't even know which team is on, uh, which fans are who. Like, who's bandwagoning others? Like, people love the Cavaliers because they hate the Warriors. People love the Warriors because they hate Cavs, specifically LeBron James. People hate Stephen Curry for no reason. People hate Kevin Durant because he left. You know, it's like there's no definitive Golden State Warriors fans, Cavaliers fans, Spurs fans, or even Thunder fans, man. It's crazy. So leave your comments below. Loyalty is the key word. Uh, for this video, so think about that for the NBA for the last couple years, couple decades, well, decade at least. What's what is what has been rewarded for loyalty? Spurs are the only ones, really. Spurs, only ones, really has benefited from that. And Golden State Warriors too, because Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, they were drafted there. Drafted and they they were able to get it done But everyone else can't make it Because they had to join another team to do so So please answer me this loyalty shit because I don't get it